So this just goes to show how you can go from no supplies to a bunch in just a few months when you first start painting. So I wanted to show you guys my containers that I've got. So I first had one of these, it's just two layer lockable container. I bought it at Big Lots for nine bucks. And then I realized how cool it was, but then realized, huh, maybe I should grab another one. But I went back and of course there weren't any. And of course I went to two other Big Lots and they didn't have them either. And then I looked on Amazon and they were like $20, which was more than twice what this was. But you know what? The other day I was like, you know, I really love these containers and I could stack them all together and have them right next to the futon or I can split in two and scoot them under the futon or do whatever I want with these. So I sprung for it and got spent 20 bucks and got a second one. So, I mean, if I look at it that I spent less than 30 bucks for all of this, then that's a good deal. So, but let me show you all the goodies that I've got so far. So the top layer... These are brushes, and this holds actually all my brushes, and this is totally cool. And I'm going to put links to everything on here in case you guys are interested in checking out any of these things. Whoops, sorry, bad video. But this case, the coolest thing about this is that it folds, and so I sit here at the futon, or if I go outside to paint, it sits up like that. So all your brushes are right there. I think it's really cool, and that was only like... Well, it's 10 bucks on Amazon. And I'm going to leave this open just because so you guys don't have to watch while I try to zip it back shut. <laughs> um, then we've got in here all of my paints. We've got these koi watercolors that I just picked up. And this one has a cool little palette. And I mainly got this for those fluorescent colors right there. And then the rest are kind of pearlescent uh, metallics. And that's what all those colors look like. And then we've got my GenCraft paints. Oh, I think one, one handed is not so easy. And these colors are great. I've been using them a lot. And they have a little pop out palette here, which is cool. Um, and this is them on black. And this is them on white. And this was my original set, which is a cheapy $10. Um, what are these? Azteca, I think it's called. Arteza, I mean, paints. Um, but I wanted more selection of colors, so that's why I got the GenCraft. And that's what all those colors look like. And then the coolest paints I have, by far, are these awesome Paul Rubens metallic paints. They are absolutely gorgeous. And you can use them on white paint, I mean white paper, or you can use them on blacks. And they look amazing on both. And here is them on oops I don't know where my white palette is but here they are on black I'm not exactly sure where the palette went okay I'm gonna repack everything after uh, I do the video <laughs> but and this is just some uh, Payne's gray because it's a really cool color to mix with any color and make um, nice shadows that still retain the color that you're shadowing and this is just some white gouache so next layer we have tape, which is for uh, tape off the borders, how I get that nice clean edge on my paintings. Um, these are all my sketching pencils and erasers. And then this is another cool thing I just picked up. This is a pen case. Oh, sorry, really bad video. <laughs> this is a case to hold all of my Micron pens. And these are Micron Uni Pin Pens, Micron Pens, and we've got some, I even got some cool ones here that are shades of gray and sepia, and then we've got a gold and a silver, and those are some white gel pens. Those are awesome for doing cat whiskers. Um, some rags, which I found are not so good to use because I have my dog, and I end up wiping Newfie hair, so I, I may get rid of these rags. They're kind of useless, and that's just a pencil sharpener, so next one down. This is all my palettes. I don't know how I ended up with so many of these, but there's a fold out one. And this is evil shit that I probably will never use again because I spilled it all over carpet. It's called masking fluid, and you put it on your paper to preserve the white and then pull up the uh, this when you're done painting. And it leaves it nice and white, but you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to use this stuff. It's just so messy. Um, and then, whoops, in the bottom drawer here, we have more rags that I should get rid of and then some of my paper. 
and we've got the black and we've got some white and then under the futon in another kit box i have um all my because i have 100 greeting cards i've been sending out i've sent 15 i think so far but anyway oh and this is how if you're wondering my uh great art studio this is how i do all my paintings on my lap with my little light on which is awesome little battery operated light and then this is my latest thing i just did a COVID-19 cartoon and I will leave it on here so you guys can read it ho ho laugh laugh funny funny oh applause anyway hope you guys liked the tour of my watercolor supplies